Hello, Internet. I'm oh, <laughs> starting it out here. I'm Sean from Famous Faces and, and Tiger. I'm Sebastian from InvestComics.com and on Summer Vacation. And this is Fick. And we got like a decent little stack. I want to go through this crazy wick because I really want a monster. And because we My don't want, screen's yellow. We don't want your screen to go yellow. <laughs> We may cause seizures. <laughs> <laughs> screen goes yellow. The screen goes yellow from us. It means we really needed a pee break. That's that's what we have. Justice League of America number four. Dun 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 dun. Something happens. Oh, it's already been spoiled. We're on We're not minute. saying someone's dead, but they're going We're to have definitely to not edit. saying it's Catwoman. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely not saying that some that, that she suffered from what we call the Ted Cord syndrome. <laughs> I don't like Ted Cord, she'll be back. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> she'll have some memory loss. She's on all the other covers, and all the teased coming storylines involving Trinity War involve having to go to the underworld to get the I'm gonna be honest. soul of a I'm murdered this. Justice League member. I'm going to be honest, I'm flipping through this, and I don't remember too much of it right now besides Boom Headshot. Um, I know there's like a, a weird bowler hatted calm down Joker <laughs> kind of guy as the potential Yeah, uh, that was Joker. And, I was like, cool. Kept doing a little ha. Huh? I don't know what was going on there. Um, also, oh, Stargirl, little sneaky little thing. Um, the Martian Manhunter backup story was really good. I have not read it. I don't know if you read it. Oh, see? I, I, I like the, the Martian Manhunter backup stories. That was really, really good. And, uh, and yeah. Earth 2, number 1. Annual. Or two annual number one. Then, 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 then. Adam. This? Yeah. This, this is a good. Batman's sort of in it. It's mainly it's, an Adam story. They it put is. Batman on it to sell. It is. And they called him Captain Adam. That is funny to me. I thought it was good. I but, really enjoyed these first two. Uh, so do I. I'm, I am so nervous for you know, James Robinson's leaving DC. But they haven't said who's taking his place. So that's the part still, I'm nervous about. I still hope that's Jeff Johns. They're going to give it like Anne Lincente or Scott Liddell. <laughs> and I'm a cry. <laughs> Because this is really, really good. Maybe and, James Robinson's just leaving and, DC to go under an alias oh, to work under Earth. And no, nothing. Yeah, probably not. Um, we we could hope, but uh, you know, new gods. Yeah, yeah. And I'm happy because at least one of them was really well done, and the other one was less important to me. So, eh, eh. Scott Free. Wake number one by Scott Snyder and Sean Murphy. It's, 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 it's good. I thought it was Aquaman. For a while, when was, I was reading, I was like, this you know, is an was, you know, it was kind of meta trippy for me. Bella wanted to watch on Sci-Fi. They no, on, Bella on is Animal Planet. Yeah, my seven-year-old wanted to watch on Animal Planet. They did. They, they do these mockumentaries, these these fake documentaries about like finding the remnants of of mermaids. So that's on in the background while I'm reading this, and they're. It's the same words are happening. <laughs> this book is really, really good. Scott Snyder and this, like, stuff is this, fantastic. This great scientist from NOAA, and I'm like, but they just said that on the, and I'm, it was very give, trippy. Give this book a shot. It's, it's Scott trippy. Snyder. He has not steered anyone wrong. And the art is gorgeous. It's it's Sean Murphy. Yeah, oh, it's, the, drew, the art is gorgeous, uh, and Scott Snyder, it's, it's, it's really, really good. New Avengers number six. I took it home to read it and forgot that I decided I wasn't reading this one anymore. Oh. That's a lot of pressure on me all of a sudden. Makes oh crap, right we didn't grab Ninja Turtles. No! I'll get to it. Jay will do the magic in a few minutes. New, there's a lot of noise going on out there. I don't know if you guys can hear it's it like or not. like woodchucks but coming to get us. There's stuff being zombie, done. Zombie uh, New Avengers number six. So this wraps up the first story arc of the two planets coming in. And pretty much it just ends up with Doom being pissed. <laughs> this is this is so... Is that our Terex or an alternate universe Terex? That's sitting... In the back, it's Terex, right? Sitting next to the chick. Oh, do you miss Galactus? No, yeah, that's no. that's ours. That's our Terex. Yeah, I believe. I thought I was dying. You know what? This book is a lot. <laughs> okay, it's really, really good. But I feel like you need a Marvel encyclopedia to read. Uh, oh no, it is theirs. It's another universe. That's right. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, right. Because uh, it happens earlier in this book. Red Hood and the Outlaws Annual Number One it is really good and really bad at the same time. Um, Scott. Uh, Tintinian writes really well. I, I've been reading these now because he's writing them. I like it. Uh, I love Talon. Um, I've been reading this. He writes really well. He writes these characters really well. The problem is he was given broken toys to play with, and he's writing the best versions of okay, broken toys. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much it. They gave look, we broke these. You want to play? <laughs> and he's like, uh. and he's doing the best he can with these broken toys. So he's writing really good stories. For characters that I just can't make myself care about the way they've been 
introduced. He does have a sort of flat. He does have a sort of clean slate with um, the Red Hood because this picks up right after issue twenty where they uh, erased the Red Hood's memory. Um, Spoiler alert! Come on. But it's a you know it kind of defeats the purpose. They erase his memory so that he won't remember being. He didn't want to remember all the bad things that he's done. First thing he does with no memory is go, who the hell am I? And he, he like Google searches Red Hood and finds out all the bad shit he's done. So now he has no memories of anything good. Just knows on the internet he's wanted for like 83 murders. So, <laughs> I'm out of hell. Team and T22. He'll hold it, because I normally hold yeah. it. So, Jay. Jay's going to put, put some Ninja Turtles right here. I feel back it's like right there. And I see we it. We can see it from here. Well, I can't really see but it. But we trapped ourselves. That. We dropped ourselves in. All right, so TMNT 22 is the beginning of the city fall. I think it's what it's called. See, if I have the book, I can look for it. Help. But uh, <laughs> so Shredder is pissed because there's another gang, and Shredder wants complete control. So he's out to prove a point. So one of the turtles or turtles friends winds up paying the price, and it is one of the. I've been reading Ninja Turtles for as long as I can remember, and I've been loving Ninja Turtles. I'm, I have no shame in that, and that's tape. Yeah, it's, it's, it's people all that there. crackling, your internet connection is not going out, yeah. we're being taped. <laughs> so, Literally. <laughs> this was like huge, I was like, oh no, why'd this happen? And then something else happened at the end, I was like, oh no, now that's happening. It's all been building up to this, and this, oh, it, it is so, so good. For an invisible book, this is heavy. Yes, it's a lot. Okay, put it down. Put it, I said put it down. Also, I want Jay to make that work. Yeah. <laughs> I have been going through, because I catch up on our show, just like, oh, how many people are watching, what's going on? Who is the one person that who keeps that like this? What do we do that you keep coming back and thumbs downing it? Just let us know in the comments. Mom, section. stop watching. I just want to know what I did or what he did, what we both did. The thing is, it wasn't just on shows I'm on. It was the one you were on by yourself. Like, what did Sebastian do? What did I do? Tell us why you don't like it. Give us feedback, and we won't listen to you. Elliot's it's my mom. <laughs> I just want to know She's what, like, oh, why you're 23 minutes of him. Down. Do you just go through every YouTube video and thumbs down and everything? Like what? What? <laughs> let me know what I did. It's the YouTube. Oh, it's the YouTube general manager. This shit. This is not what we designed the site for. Yeah. <laughs> uh, drove me crazy the other night. <laughs> Captain Universe, the hero that could be you. All right, giant collection. It's like a trade that isn't a trade. It's right? old and stuff. That's, that's what so I got. It. Yeah, thing. it's all like Steve Ditko stuff. It's a lot of um, what was it? Marvel Spotlight. It's a lot of the Marvel Spotlight stuff, and then some back some backup stories from a couple of Spider-Man annuals. Um, no real established characters in it. All just uh, you know, people, and it really could be you. But it's great, and it's Steve Ditko, and it was fun. Wolverine and the X-Men number thirty. Ooh, uh, 30 issues. This one got good. This, 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 this picked this it back up. The, this is the prelude to the Hellfire Club. Or Hellfire School. Yeah. And oh man, is Quentin Quire your favorite character at the moment? Not anymore. He, no, he is. Not anymore. Yeah, he is. No, I don't trust him anymore. No, because he's. No, I he's know what he's doing. For the right reason. Yeah, you think that. And did you love? I love. I did not love the betrayal. No, no I no. love that it wasn't dupe, and I love dupe's interrogation. Do you love them the thing? It's it was dupe. You know, somebody betrayed. It was totally dupe. Because we don't even know what the hell that thing is. So pretty much this picks up where the last one leaves off with Ivy joining the Hellfire School. And then Hank trying to figure out what's wrong with Brood. And just a whole shit that could go wrong. And Quentin's got a crush. Quentin's got a crush. He's crushing on Ivy. What way to spoil it for everyone? He's crushing on Ivy. That's, a, that's a big spoiler. That. It's a high school book and kids have crushes on each other. I know. It's Earth Shatter. I mean, yeah. I don't even know if I want to read it now. And they go to Sword, and he makes fun of, what does he say? He's like, that's a bad decision. No, wearing a green jumpsuit with a green, <laughs> green, green hair, hair is a bad decision. This, this is just de like desperation. Like we when this is back focused on the school, it's one of the best books. <laughs> X-Men number one by Brian Wood. Did you read it? Nope. I did. And I liked it. And it's a lot of it's called X Men, which is deceptive. It's X Women. It, yeah, but it would be too sexist to just come out and call the book X Women. Um, and plus, would X women? There was an X woman book. Would X women here? actually mean that they're men now? <laughs> <laughs> We're X men. I don't know. Do you watch those shows be, with or the commercials <laughs> with the guy like asking kids questions? Yeah. <laughs> infinity times infinity. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm watching. <laughs> the kid. Is, <laughs> That's what I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, this is there's all the X women and it's got. Um, Jubilee, who for some reason has always been one of my favorites. I have no idea why. And she's back, and apparently she's still a vampire, though they play that pretty down key. She's 
still a mutant, though they play that pretty down key. And she's now a teen mother, but not really. And they answer that because, you know, they, let's spend internet broke the other day because they said for the um, issue number three solicits was like, you know, she's a teen mom and it's got her hugging Wolverine. And this explains how she kind of inherited a child. And it's good. It's really, she really, I mean, be a TV star. it's, you know, um, Pete, Pete Woods can write, and the artwork is good. Brian Wood can Brian write. Wood, sorry. Brian Wood can write, and is, is good. Deathmatch number six. Is still awesome. Um, oh, my God. Uh, what's his name? Just signed exclusive to Boom. Uh, Paul the, Jenkins? Carlos Magnan? Well, one of them. Um, somebody's exclusive, and I'm happy. You took my book. I'm sorry. Um, I, I have one you, job. You know I like to flip through them because I have limited memory. Um, and I always remember after the show, oh, shit, there was something I really wanted to say about that book, and I forgot at the time because... Sucks to be me, but when I'm old, no one's gonna notice. Um, then my book. You're gonna get your. You're gonna, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna get your body grease all over it, and now it's gonna yellow faster. Um, and you see how the great. Shape I am I a clean person, in. thank you. Are you human? That you have oil. You're Wait. not like me. I'm Italian. I exude more oil than most Arab nations. Um, but I'm not associated with that. <laughs> I do. If they, Not associated. We, I could, I could solve America's oil dependency. They just Not associated hook with me up to a big old. Jay, take know, my name off the credits. Big old tube and just <laughs> never-ending supply. Can we move on? No, because I like this. I'm trying to remember. Some, oh yeah, and they. Oh, it, one of one of the characters I really like dies and dies horribly. There is a a. It's called death a, match. A, Someone's going to die. Yeah, but oh, this is. There's a villain in here, uh, Melody Tomb. Who is written so well? Sometimes you know. Oh, I hate that character. No, this is the character who you hate for all the right reasons. They are written for you to dis. Oh, she is like dust uber bitch. And oh my God, I want something. You, I want to see something horrible and messy happen to her. But at the same time, I don't because she's such an awesome, evil bitch character that I'd like her to make it through to the end. It's, it's just that good. Indestructible Hulk okay. is still really really good, and it's it's Walter Simonson drawn old school Thor, and. Um, uh, it's, it's, this issue's got heart. We've got one of the characters has her backstory and, you know, how she's dying and we get to see the, the softer side of Banner. And uh, then we get to watch the Hulk beat up out of, some, out of like, a, an army of Frost Giants. So it's the best of, of both worlds. Avenging Spider-Man 21. It is good. This wraps up the, uh, the, the first two-parter in Avenging Spider-Man history uh, where he's getting the, uh, the chameleon out. And he, the, the Doc Ock Spidey, he, he goes all out on this. And... I don't know. I honestly can't decide based on the way he's talking. I know he's collecting the Secret Six. I don't know if he had a plan like he was going to use them, but he keeps talking about them like they're his responsibility, and I think um, that may be part of his weird Doc Ock version of being a hero is that he feels responsible for the Secret Six since that was his group, and he's just going to collect the rest of them and not let them, you know, like their own special prisoners, or he's got some evil plan that he's going to use them all for. But either way, it's kind of a cool concept, and I like the way he's methodically going about it. And... Uh, yeah, I still want Peter Parker back, and I, I want the Avenging, the, uh, the Superior Spider-Man to not be a, you know, a, a permanent condition, but I'm, I'm liking the stories. Adventures of Superman number one, not Orson Scott Card. It's true, no Orson Scott Card, and I'm good with that. No Chris Sprouse, and I'm sad with that. But everybody that's in here is really good, and it turns out... There's three stories. turns out DC does have writers who understand how to write a good Superman story. Jeff Parker does. Chris they, Somney drew a great oh, he did. first story. Oh, he did. And they, the problem, apparently DC found a whole bunch of Superman books. He said, Superman artists uh, and writers who can get Superman and said, look, we want you to do an out-of-continuity Superman because, heaven forbid, the new 52 Superman doesn't suck. I'm hoping Scott Snyder can save that because he's Scott Snyder. But, yeah, this is the Where? best Superman I've read yeah. since the new 52 started. I'm not a fan of Jeff Lemire drawing Unless, Superman. Unless, wait, did, uh, did one of the Earth one Superman books come out? during New 52. It did. The second one came out? Yeah. All right, so then this is this is the second best Superman th that I've read since um, Jeff the New 52. Jeff Lemire's Superman story, it's good. The art in it does not fit Superman at all. But it does, I it does I fit Bizarro. And, and oh, yeah. It's, it, 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 well, it fits everything else. Was Bizarro in this one? Yeah. Not in this one. Yeah, and, and at one point, the kids... No, Bizarro's in the, yeah. the second. Oh, no, this is, is, this is the, the third story? story. Yeah, the oh, third story by Justin Jordan. Is great too. Yeah, these were oh, all great. They're stories. all great, and these guys need to just write the regular. Su there's three Superman books. There's three writers in here who can write Superman. Ding, ding, ding. I can do that math. Can you, Rob Harris? Can you? Clown number seven. Maybe it's Rob Harris who doesn't like <laughs> us. <laughs> we got Bob, the, the editor in chief in DC Comics. 
sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I like my new 52. It's the new 45. <laughs> the new 46. Let's, let's, let's not lie to each other. <laughs> it's the new 45. I can't do math. I mean, I'm going to trust them. What is it, August? <laughs> July? Maybe? I count the annuals. Yeah, no, 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 in July or August, there's only 45 books. Yeah, what's the new previews that just came out for? August, August yeah, there's yeah. only 45 books in that. Only and there's an ample ending, so I don't know, maybe we'll mix things up after the Trinity War. Get some stuff going Clone on. number seven. Clone is awesome. Stop uh, putting your thumbs down. Th this... <laughs> This, this this book is is fantabulous. The trade's out. We can't get it again here. Maybe I'll let's make let's make Jay do something else. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna hope for the trade. I mean, clone trade came out this week, um, so, so you picture, can you can pick that up. And uh, it's it's a really good story. There's a a father tried to save his son's life. His son had a disease. He, he couldn't save. He, he couldn't figure out how to work it on the son. Didn't want to test on the son. Cloned the son. Got a whole bunch of clones that that don't have the disease. The sun gets mixed in the in the loop, and now this the, somebody has it. One of the is it one of the clones who has a, a, a child, or is it the original? And then then the government's in on it, and everybody's looking to find a, one guy amongst the clones. But then somebody wants to wipe out the clones. It's all like political and and cloning, and it's really really good, and it's really good. I'll read the trick maybe. Westwood witches. Wow, that's weird. Okay. Westwood witches is fun to say. Um, this is from this is from Amigo, right? Yeah, this is from Amigo. I like to say Amigo. Uh, it's good. I didn't know what to expect out of this, and I ordered it because uh, I liked Rogues, so I was like, what the hell? And I'll, I'll order you know, and pretty much anything Amigo throws out at the moment. And this, at first it threw me. I wasn't sure what the beginning is, but there's a, a guy who writes, who's, who, who writes like horror books, and he wrote, or sort of horror, whatever, but he wrote this story about these you know, this, this witch and whatever, and it became popular, and making a movie out of it, and he's, he never meant to make a sequel, but his agent has promised a sequel before the movie comes out, so he's supposed to be working on it. So he goes back to Boston, where he used to live, Chipping up to Boston. and when he gets there, it turns out, unbeknownst to him, uh, most of the women in the town that he and his wife moved back to actually are witches. <laughs> so there's, like, the story he's writing, kind of paralleling, Lily. Paralleling the story. I really thought you were going to slap me. It was going to get real on camera. I'm not even going to lie. It was, just, we were going to, it was going to be the number one thing on YouTube tomorrow morning. I was so tongue tied, I had to knock you up to get to, to fix it. But uh, but yeah, but it, it was good. And um, it's a four issue mini, so it, it's, it's not even the hugest commitment in your life. Give it a shot. Pirate Eye. Or it's one a one shot. shot. Talk Pirate. about no commitment. Um, is this from. What, is this one of their. Action Lab. It's Action Lab, but is it one of their. They've got like. Divisions now. No, it still just says action now. Okay, so it's basically a. It's kind of more noir than actual detective-y, but it's like uh, pirate eye. There was another one th thing before this. It's pirate detective stories. Pirate noir. So he's, he's the pirate eye. He's the oh. detective that works with pirates. And uh, does he have a hook hand? No, but I think other people do. But is he as good? Are there pink legs? There are lots of facial scars and a couple eye patches. And a man named Parrot. This way, you can save time. You can be a pirate and a parrot. Okay. A pirate's like for me. You know, so you don't have to have your. You can be your own parrot. <laughs> Princeless number three or four. Oh, this is awesome. He, uh, she, shows up and she's after rescuing herself from her tower. Our our main heroine has decided to rescue all of her sisters from their tower. But one sister is kind of caught up in the. Everybody comes here to see how amazingly beautiful I am, and actually refers to herself as the most beautiful princess in the land. To which her sister turns and screams to her, "You actually call yourself that?" In just a, a beautiful moment. But um, the hunters that are c coming after her, one of them catches up. There's a big fight. Um, her father kind of spills. He's got a little bit of an origin going on to the, to the background. They're also looking for the mother who, who who took off her parts unknown in the beginning of the series. And at the same time, the you know whereas um, our heroine has her dragon as her guardian. Uh, uh oh, it's some kind of energy force magical liony thing. Turns out uh, her oldest sister's got a a, a, a guardian too, and uh, things gonna get real. Warlord of Mars 25. Yeah, this is uh, well, I, I, I read all of these like days ago, and this is, I, read, I read a lot of books. I have to remember some. This is wrapping up <laughs> Warlord of Mars. Um, I'm convinced you're just like, oh, let me. 
It's wrapping I'll up. Just make something up right now. It's a book totally with words in it and, and people that are read on. My, but no, um, this uh, is, is Tarzan in here? No, Tarzan is not. Um, the last issue of Tarzan that came out dropped hints of you know, because they're both you know it, it, yeah. it dropped hint of hints of um, the Martian civilization having come to Africa at one point. And you know, Tarzan just writes it off like flying ships. You know, whatever. Clearly, this is the mythology of these of, of the, the natives. But this is wrapping it up because now they're going to have. Um, Do I talk? Is it again? just called Warlords? Uh, probably not. No. I think it's all the indie stuff at the bottom. Um, so it's just called I'm Warlords. Just is, is coming out, and it's going to be Tarzan and John Carter kind of teaming up. So, but but yeah, this this ren ends it kind of nice. He's, he becomes Jeddak of Jeddaks, the Warlord of Mars. Shadow Year One Number Three. Oh, it's good. Um, I got the Chagan cover, and that made me happy because you know, while I don't, while I'm not always the biggest Chagan fan, you know. Oh, I remember the um, Chagan Shadow in the DC day, but um, this. I was being a white. Dude. I know, but I, you know, I have. To I have nothing else going on for the next this, twenty minutes while you review all this. This is basically literally him starting up and and starting his little organization of people that will be his informants, and you know, where he keeps saving people and going to remember. We formed a bond now. He gives this no, bond speech not. a lot. There's I, no bond. bond. There's a bond. There's there's a bond. nothing. I gave you poppers, bitch. Um. <gasps> I forgot I had those. <laughs> They're in my freezer. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's a bond right here. See, like that, that is a bond that can never be broken uh, until he eats the poppers. Um, Tonight. <laughs> but, um, and it, it, uh, Margaret Lane, you know, it, it gets, you know, how how the two of them. Hooked up, he, he kind of saved her. He hooked up. He kind of saved her the last year. We issue, have never hooked up. Stop nudging me for this. <laughs> no, I don't like this. We're done with this. Up. We're done. But, okay, fine. But, fine. And then Green Hornet Legacy is is, is good again, but still not. It's still not the Mark Wade uh, Green Hornet origin series that's going on. But now this is Green Hornet Legacy, I said, because the other one is now. You know, this is still the son of Britt Reed, whereas the other one is, is Britt Reed. Um, but yeah, they've done a lot of cleaning of house, but now we've got uh, Green Hornet versus the Undead, and hopefully soon we'll you know we'll find out the the actual fate of uh, of, of the Cato family. Dead Man's Run, number five B is good. I I don't remember squat. There was like a gap between like <laughs> this is number five. There's a gap between three and four in which I forgot most of of what was going on, um, and then four came out. Uh, 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 just like last month. I think line, they're, I think good. they're good. I'm gonna I'm probably end up reading the trade too, just to have it all in in a in, in a little room. Robin Hood Wanted number one is good. I liked the Robin Hood series. Um, I, I liked the trade when, when when we reviewed that. This is picking up. It's a mess. And she was a hero in the the other realm where she was uh, in Bree, and then here. She's a wanted, you know, murderess and on the run because no one understands why she killed the people that she killed. But at the same time, Sheriff of Nottingham has plans for her and both worlds, and it's it's just good. That these Robin Hood books are good. Grim Fairy Tales Unleashed number one. I Unleashed is... I, I have a question. I have an answer. Maybe. Why does she have countless clocks? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine, ten. Because she's kind of steampunky, and steampunks have a lot of. They, I don't think they're clocks so much as gauges. Why do you need a gauge for? Do I know these things? No. She's the air. She's. I, I, she's I'm Lacelle Lis 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 uh, Van Helsing, and hey, ultimately, to... what what happens here is um, <clears throat> a creature called the creature uh, has been the creature or the being. I, I forget. He's. I don't know, I'm trying to He's find been. Out he just released all the, 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 the. Basically, the monsters were trapped in this one dimension. They'd been banished. He brings them back. So now, vampires, zombies, werewolves, gargoyles, demons, all these things are coming out into the world, and they've been unleashed. Hence of the title. And the denizens of the various magical That's realms of. Um, <clears throat> the various magical realms of. Of. Uh, the, the various magical realms and our realm are all now sentenced to to fight them off, and it, it's good. I've been liking this story. Uh, some of these characters I, I haven't read Xenoscope books 
for more. I, I've only read like the past few years, so some of this stuff I get the vague feeling. I mean, I understood everything that's going on, but I get the feeling that if I'd been reading it longer, I would have more of an impact from some of these characters because you know the other characters react to them like you. We haven't seen you in a while, so I'm assuming they've been around. But is is pretty the end? Grim Fairy Tales presents Vampires the Eternal and two. Yeah, I don't know when any of these. When I get my books from from Zinoscope, they just send them in, in the little pack, so I don't know when anything ships in, in the real world. So they need what all? So I just re I just review them as I get them. These all this stuff came on my birthday, so it was like my birthday present was was a bunch of Zinoscope and um and and dynamite books. But this is the actual ongoing story of uh, Lizelle Van Helsing now that she's back and is chasing down you know vampires and other unpleasantness in the world. Mostly the backups have been about her. The main story is um, is uh, kind of the vampire semi-political take over the world, take over each other, backstabbing agenda. Um, kind of a cross between DC's I Vampire and um, CW's Vampire Diaries. But you're on the off camera because I respect you. <laughs> but this is good. I've, I've been liking all of these. And here we go. Jungle Book. That I, I've already, I, I love Jungle Book. I, 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 I love the engine. You want to hold it? No, not anymore. You don't need me anymore. Um, just want to go the, catch up on sleep finally. The, the, the missing girl from the, the Tabi clan, the, the, the mongoose and small little fuzzies clan. Is Mowgli in here? Yes, but Mowgli. It's a, it's a girl Mowgli. Oh. Um, and she's, hang, she's hanging with the fox that's normally friends with the... What's um, the bear's name? It's a the little loo. Is he in there? He is. And uh, he's the last of the bears because there's an island called Kipling Island and on this island, there were clans of all these different animals, and they've been at war for like ever. And some of them are dead. The tigers are basically is trying to drive off everybody. The it's uh, Shere Khan. Shere Khan. Who may or may not make a return appearance in this? I don't want to spoil it. Um, I think he did. Uh, and I was like, Doo. Um, do the animals talk in uh, here? They do. Okay. And the guy raised by monkeys just got um, the guy raised by tigers completely. Um, drunk off his ass and now addicted Under. to the stuff. Why did so that happen? The because <laughs> you're you. So God the uh, the monkeys are essentially getting. Hey, you want more? The first one's free. It's like little monkey pushers, little King Louis pusher. Hey, you want you want more of this? You want more of our treasure? No. Here's what you got to do. You got to kill somebody for us, and yeah, well, there you have it. The tiger guy's like done. <laughs> so that's fun. Grim Fairy Tales God Storm trade paperback volume. This was no, I'm not letting it go. <laughs> <laughs> this was good and ties directly into um, Unleashed. Basically, uh, I'd read the first one of this and, and wasn't thrilled, but uh, I love reading the things in trades because they make so much more sense to me then and I don't have to wait. And as you can see, I can't remember stuff I read yesterday. How the hell am I going to remember a whole series? So, Dude, I remember stuff I read this morning. This, uh, Zeus has kids. That's what Zeus does. Right? And... This is a story of two of them, uh, Heather, who Zeus kind of takes under his wing and eventually embraces her uh, semi-deity status, and um, a son of his whom he failed and has some repressed memories of being an all sorts of uber-powerful bastard, and things, things get ugly. And then in the very end of this, it literally sets up for where um, Unleashed kicks in. But it's good, it's really good, and the uh, trade's only tw you know, twelve ninety nine. so as trades go, that's not a bad price. Pick it up. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, episode 100 is coming up. We are. We're going to have to figure out something special. I don't to want do. to do anything too Maybe special we'll for sides. 100, though. Because 100 not the two-year mark. I know. we got to get to... Two is the two-year mark. And for that... No, nah, it's not 100. It'd be uh, 100, 104. 104 is the two-year mark. And it's going to be awesome because I have a plan. Uh oh Oh, Lord. I'm a scared. You should be scared too, Internet. It's not that big of a plan. It's just a plan. He's scared anyway. I'm not saying the fear will pay off. I'm not yawn? He's scared. No, for sure. Yeah, he's, he's, he can't not yawn. He's a shot. He'd have to actually sleep the night before we film. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> and the night before we film is a Wednesday night in a comic store. He ain't sleeping. Bye, Internet. Drive home.